So you might have asked yourself, what are some good forms of iodine? Well, I'll go through a few of them for you. So the first one is Lugol's. Lugol's is a solution. Um, the most popular one that you can buy on Amazon and that I use and works well is J. Crows. J. Crows. Lugol's solution, 2%. 94% distilled water. 4% potassium iodide. 2% iodine. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm sorry. Um, it works, it works uh, well. Um, then there's nascent iodine. Nascent iodine is basically a charged form of iodine. It is supposed to be more bioavailable, which means your body absorbs it better and utilizes it uh, more efficiently in the body. Some would say that because of that, you need less of it um, in order to produce the same results as taking other iodine supplements. Uh, the next one is iodorol. That is... Uh, a tablet that is usually fairly expensive it usually comes in 12.5 milligram tablets and uh, 7.5 I want to say 7.5 um, 7.5 milligrams of potassium iodide 5 milligrams of iodine there we go and uh, so then there's kelp or seaweed which is a fairly unreliable source of iodine, you know, depending on the source and where it comes from, it may have more or less iodine. The other thing that you got to keep in mind, if you haven't heard already, is mo a lot of the seaweed comes from Japan with the Fukushima um, nuclear reactor waste disaster. A lot of that, uh, those kelp and seaweed crops are, are contaminated with... Uh, with some level of radiation um, so that's a concern there I did notice that there's a, a country life brand of Norwegian kelp I would imagine it's it's uh, from Norway away from the Fukushima radioactive seaweed so that's the, um, that's a possibility um, then there's things like IOS, IOSTAT emergency tabs, and they're high dose. You don't want to get those. Uh, the IOSTAT ones, for example, are 130 milligrams. If you're looking to take this as a, as a daily supplement or an every now and then supplement, this is not what you want to get. Um, that high dose of 130 milligrams is in the case of like, okay, you know, there's just a, uh, we just had a, a uh, uh, atomic bomb drop and there's nuclear fallout well there's some some of the, the radioactive fallout is going to be radioactive iodine so to to uh, prevent your body from inhaling and absorbing that radioactive iodine you're going to take a high dose of healthy natural normal iodine to saturate your thyroid so when the radioactive ones come in your body's like we're good we don't need that we're, we're all set here and then you know can kick it out um, so which one is better? I don't know. You know, um, people swear by every form, um, that there is. Usually it's just the brand. They all work well if you have a good brand. Um, as far as the Lugols go, I use that because not only is, does it work well, but it's cheap. It's, it's really inexpensive. Um, the one thing you do have to worry about is the fact that, this erodes um, iodine is somewhat in, reactive and so over time this dropper this is actually a, a different dropper that I used um, to to replace the the broken off uh, chewed up rubber cap um, that used to be used with this so um, I think that's the most cost effective and efficient one um, but I would do your own research and and, and uh, you might have to uh, sometimes you have to do a little trial and error because everyone's body is a little bit different um, you know I've read uh, plenty of reviews where some people um, did the Lugols it didn't work for them and then they tried the iodorol and then the opposite has been true people that have tried the iodorol it's done nothing they switch to the Lugols and it's the best thing on the planet for them so, um, 
in any regards, iodine is an important supplement. Uh, for some people, it could be a lifesaver. So um, you need proper thyroid function to do that. You need iodine. It's going to give you energy. It's going to keep you from being constipated. It's going to be able to, to for you to recover from stress and from exercise faster. It's going to be able for you to have healthy hair, skin, and nails. It's important in just about every cell in the body which most people don't know. So iodine, yay iodine. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put those below. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time in the next video.